Hello, welcome to an author spotlight. Specifically for this video, it's Chick Stone, one of the more underrated anchor for Marvel in the Silver Age, especially working with Jack Kirby. Uh, often, other anchors are linked to Jack Kirby, from Vince Coletta to Joe Sinod or Dick Ayers. But here, uh, if you go to Mike Amazing website, you can see that uh, he did a lot of work, especially for Marvel in the early Silver Age. Uh, many titles, including even some DC, but you can see from Fantastic Four to X-Men, a lot of work. But for this video, I will showcase his talent with black and white original art because to appreciate his inking style, I think it's better to show the black and white original art to highlight his specific skills. By the way, all the original arts that I use in this video are from Heritage Database. So if you go to Heritage website, you can search for his art and you can see even more than what I'm showing here in this video, okay? I will put a link below to Mike's amazing website and then you can go there and check out all the various work that Chickstone had a hands on, okay? But first up, let's take a look at this gorgeous original piece of art here. This is what I love the most about Chickstone is his style of using heavy thick line on the key element of the panels or the page. As you can see here, Captain America, the way he ink Captain America and the way he ink the background, the heavier, thicker lines with Captain America figures allow that image to pop from the rest of the page. And for the rest of this video, for the next 10 minutes or so, as I show you various other original piece of art, you will see similar techniques. Next, on this gorgeous journey into mystery splash page, once again, just look at how he ink Thor. The thickness of the lines on Thor and the rest of the background. It just makes the splash page and the image of Thor pop so much compared to the background. And the rest of the background is so clean. His style of inking, very clean line. I love it. Absolutely love his style of inking here. And the interior works, for the most part, is the same as far as how he used very clean line not a lot of shading, but I like it. It works so well for me. Let's take a look at another journey into mystery splash page. Once again, you can see the methods used here, where he ink Thor as well as the two villains with thicker, heavier lines, and then the rest of the cover was done with thinner lines. It just make the image pop off the splash page so beautifully. Here is an example of his interior work, as I said, really clean, really clean line, which I think is fantastic. Love his style inking here for Jack Kirby. Take a look at this gorgeous splash page once again with Captain America, a tail suspense splash page. Take, take a look once again, just see how the thicker, heavier line of Captain America and the thinner line in the background allowed that image of Captain America to pop so much. And it looks so much better in black and white original art. I appreciate his style more when I look at the original art because sometimes when you look at a color page, it kind of mute the inking. One of the popular authors of the Silver Age for Marvel is Don Heck. And if you're familiar with Don Heck's penciling as well as his own inking, 
is really scratchy, right? Really scratchy. But when Chickstone Inc., as you see in this page, he cleaned it up so well. He looked fantastic. In fact, I would say that Chickstone may be the best inker for Don Heck because his style uh, matched really well with the scratchy style and he cleaned it up as you can see in this page. And there are other pages on Heritage you can look as well for that particular issue of the adventures. And it looked fantastic. I love it. I wish he ink more of Don Heck work, to be honest. Chick Stone also worked with many other authors and he adapted his style to fit other authors. Okay, for example, here is uh, Captain Marvel with Jim Starlin. Wonderfully done. Look at this. Okay, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous and certainly heavier inking here but well done clean as always okay extremely clean and just take a look at the lines the folds in the boots lots of details so it's a big credit to Jim Starlin as well as a penciler but no doubt very well inked by Chick Stone and he also did work with John Fushima with Silver Surfer Here's the page, once again, gorgeous work. His style, his, the way he ink, it works with any penciler, from what I can tell. I just love the way Mephisto was drawn and ink on this page. Just absolutely gorgeous work, clean line, beautiful work by Big John and Chick Stone here, for sure. And lastly for this video, he also worked with Tom Sutton. Yes, Tom Sutton. Here's a beautiful splash page from Marvel Spotlight. Look at this one. Wow. Just look at that image. Just stare at that image of Ghost Rider. Absolutely gorgeous splash page. And Tom Sutton is a hit or miss with me. His style is inconsistent, but I'm not sure why. Perhaps it is the inker. Sometimes Tom Sutton ink the work himself, and sometimes when he ink the work himself, the work is gorgeous. But for this one, Chickstone did a wonderful job. As you can see, this is a gorgeous splash page with the image of Ghost Rider. If you look at the close-up work, stunning, stunning lines here. Just gorgeous. I can stare at this image of Ghost Rider for a long, long time. One of my favorite of Tom Sutton, for sure. If you're familiar with his short run on Marvel Spotlight, um, it is gorgeous. And no doubt, if you are intrigued with Chick Stone, now that you saw this video, I highly suggest you go to Mike Amazing website and look for his work. You might have some books in your collection that you have not seen or flipped through in a long time, open up those books and take a look at the art inside and appreciate the inking of Chick Stone. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.